What if the sharp rise in cancer isn't random at all, but a predictable outcome of what you eat every day, especially the seed oils hiding in your kitchen and in most restaurant food? Welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. Stay informed with quick, easy to listen summaries of our latest articles, perfect for when you're on the go. No reading required. Subscribe for free at Mercola.com for the latest health insights. Hello, and welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. I'm Ethan Foster, and today we're unpacking how excess linoleic acid from industrial seed oils reshapes your internal terrain, pushing you toward chronic inflammation, broken mitochondria, and higher cancer risk, and what a practical stage reversal looks like. I'm Alara Skye. We're drawing directly from Dr. Joseph Mercola's analysis and his recent paper calling for a shift from symptom management to cellular restoration. The goal is straightforward. Lower linoleic acid, repair mitochondria, calm the gut, and reintroduce energy in a way your cells can actually use. You're hearing a clear historical pattern. In the early 1900s, lifetime cancer risk hovered near 5%. Today, it affects 30% to 50% of Americans. During the same period, daily linoleic acid intake climbed from roughly 1% to 2% of calories to about 7% or higher. Tracking with the adoption of seed oils and processed foods, dressings, margarines, and fryers. You also need to know what's happening inside your cells. Linoleic acid oxidizes easily, forming toxic aldehydes such as 4-HNE that injure proteins, DNA, and your mitochondria. As these byproducts accumulate, your energy system falters, oxidative stress climbs, inflammation stays switched on, and your defenses against abnormal cell growth weaken. This damage unfolds along multiple routes. Oxidative stress rises, inflammatory mediators escalate, autophagy is suppressed, and gut balance shifts toward endotoxin-producing microbes. Mitochondria take a direct hit. Cardiolipin destabilizes, ATP drops, and your cells switch to less efficient fuel handling that favors disease processes. There's also a metabolic trap you can avoid. Excess linoleic acid promotes succinate buildup. When succinate rises, your system behaves as if oxygen is scarce flipping on programs that feed tumors and build new blood vessels. Correcting the fat input helps stop this false alarm. Let's translate this into action. The terrain restoration framework starts with strict minimization of seed oils, soybean, corn, safflower, and sunflower supply, most of the linoleic acid in modern diets. Replace them with grass-fed butter, ghee, beef tallow, or coconut oil, and favor meals you cook yourself so you control the fat source. Here's why that matters right away. Controlled feeding trials show that dropping linoleic acid from above 6% of calories to about 2% to 3% cut oxidative stress markers by roughly 20% in just 12 weeks. That same shift supports the return of butyrate-producing microbes, strengthening your gut barrier and lowering systemic inflammation. Once the oil source is corrected, you rebuild energy without overloading digestion. The first stage uses easy-to-digest carbohydrates, white rice and pulp-free fruit juice, to restore glycogen gently. Track how you feel for one to two weeks. Bloating, gas, and stool changes tell you when to move forward. The next stage restores fermentable fiber in a controlled way. Add cooked root vegetables and whole fruits in modest portions. The aim is regular, well-formed stools, less bloating, and steadier energy. This gradual ladder allows phycalobacterium and bifetobacterium to reestablish without fueling inflammatory blooms. You can also support mitochondria directly. Time-restricted eating helps trigger autophagy and mitophagy, your cellular cleanup systems. A practical template is an 8-hour eating window, such as 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., with the remaining 16 hours fasted. Pair that with consistent sleep and a dark, cool bedroom to lower nighttime stress hormones. Movement is non-negotiable. Regular walking and resistance training build new mitochondria, improve insulin sensitivity, and reduce systemic inflammation. Place carbohydrates around activity, some before for fuel, some after for recovery, to align energy intake with demand and keep cortisol in check. There are targeted additions in this model. Odd chain saturated fats like pentadecanoic acid, C15 colon zero found in dairy fat, 
can activate AMPK and help normalize mitochondrial function, easing succinate buildup. Adjuncts such as carnitine, CoQ10, and NAD plus boosters are listed as mitochondrial supports within the broader restoration plan. The strategy also acknowledges precision tools. Low-dose aspirin, 75 to 100 milligrams per day, can reduce inflammatory prostaglandin production by about 50% within 24 hours, potentially interrupting hormone-linked loops in certain cancers. Mitochondria-targeted antioxidants concentrate support exactly where peroxidation occurs, using very small doses while preserving beneficial signaling. Your gut is a central part of this terrain. Excess linoleic acid raises oxygen in the colon, suppressing beneficial oxygen intolerant species and favoring inflammatory strains. The stage carbohydrate ladder helps reverse that shift. As the balance returns, endotoxin exposure drops and whole body stress signals quiet down. Lifestyle fundamentals round out the plan. Prioritize consistent, high quality sleep to lower cortisol and inflammatory markers. Ensure adequate selenium and magnesium intake to support antioxidant defenses and energy metabolism. Avoid smoking and reduce environmental toxin exposures to lighten the overall oxidative load. Expect practical challenges. Linoleic acid is embedded in more than 70% of packaged foods and in most restaurant fryers. Tissue levels change slowly, so progress builds over months. That's why label scrutiny, clear household rules, and simple default meals matter. Digital tools, including AI-assisted barcode scanning, can cut label reading errors and help you spot hidden oils quickly. It's important to keep perspective on the science. Preclinical data consistently show high linoleic acid promoting tumor growth through inflammation, oxidative stress, and mitochondrial dysfunction. Human data are mixed, likely reflecting differences in genetics, omega-3 balance, and overall diet quality. Personalizing this approach to your own response is essential. Here's today's challenge based on the paper's practical steps. Over the next two weeks, drive linoleic acid to roughly 2% to 3% of your calories by removing soybean, corn, safflower, and sunflower oils, and cook with butter, ghee, tallow, or coconut oil. Use a two-phase carb ladder, Start with white rice and pulp-free fruit juice for one to two weeks. Then add cooked root vegetables and whole fruits. Pair this with an eight-hour eating window, daily walking, and two to three resistance sessions this week. Track morning energy, digestive comfort, and post-meal clarity. If any trend slips, scan for hidden seed oils and adjust the ladder before adding anything new. Thank you for watching Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. We'll see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching. Subscribe now and click the notification bell so you never miss an update. See you in the next video.